All right, everyone, how's it going? It is Rick Racket back with you again, this time with a new tutorial uh, for the Steam Deck. And on this one, we're going to be looking at how to install the Super Mario 64 PC port. Yes, that is a thing. Uh, Nintendo's website or their servers or whatever were uh, was hacked like uh, two or three years ago. And one of the things that they that the hackers got from that were uh, source codes to a bunch of old games. Uh, Perfect Dark was one of them, uh, GoldenEye, I think, uh, and then Super Mario 64. And the PC port is really, really good because you can go in and do things like uh, graphic mods, your texture mods, whatever you want to call them. You can have ray tracing in Mario 64, it's insane. But uh, if you're a Steam Deck owner, you can play it on the Steam Deck and the controls feel really good because I think they went in and modified it. You can have like full camera control so it's not like that ratchet camera where it moves in unhelpful increments. You can rotate the camera 360. It's fantastic. And uh, I'm not going to get into the modding part of it because I haven't actually tried to mod the, the, the port on PC. Or, uh, I haven't tried to mod the Steam Deck version of it or mod it on the Steam Deck. I have modified it on... Uh, my laptop and then ray tracing and all that is pretty cool but there are some things I have to get out of the way here I own a legal copy of Mario 64 right there Mario 3D All-Stars Mario 64 is on that collection and I have a physical copy somewhere up in the attic you're supposed to own a legal copy of the game if you're going to go and do this now I cannot provide download links to the, uh, the place where you can go and download the pre-compiled version because what you need for this is you need to have a pre-compiled version of Mario 64 PC. Uh, all I can say is Google it and you want to Google specific terms like Mario 64 PC port pre-compiled version. Uh, when you find it, uh, it's going to look like, eh, come on, um, well, I'm an idiot, using my laptop instead of my Steam Deck. It's going to look like, uh, it's going to look like this, it's going to say Super Mario 64 PC.zip, or it should anyway. Maybe, it depends on where you download it from, I guess, but if you got one that looks like that, you're probably on the right track. You're going to unzip that. You're going to go in here and just make sure that you've got Super Mario 64.z64. Uh, actually, no, you need uh, Super Mario 64.exe. That's the one you're looking for. Uh, this would be the, the ROM, the ROM file for the game. And if you find the right file, all that will be included. Again, make sure you own a legal copy of the game. You know, I'm, I'm, I have to say that. Uh, and then once you've done that, You've got to go into Steam. Uh, okay, so once you've done that, you're going to go down here to add a game. Add a non-Steam game. And you want to go to Browse. And then you want to go to Downloads. And then to Super Mario 64 PC. Click on Super Mario 64.exe. And then just click Open. Right, so we are in the Steam Deck UI now. Uh, I had two versions of Mario 64 PC in my uh, library because I had tried to record this once before and just wasn't satisfied with that recording. Anyway, once you've got the game installed or you've got it in your Steam library, you want to go to compatibility. So when you're in the Steam Deck UI, you just click on that little gear icon, you go over to properties go to compatibility and you want to check this box and then you want to select Proton Experimental. I think that's the only way it'll work. I don't think you can use the basic version or whatever the default is. So once you've done that, you're good to go. Uh, you click on the game, it's going to download something, I don't know. And I got the Xbox controller here, you can play this with any controller you want. I do find that it, the movement is best suited to the actual Steam Deck analog sticks but again it, it, you can play it with anything go in and 
probably tweak some of that stuff if you need to. And there it is, Super Mario 64, the PC port. As you can see, we got a fully rotatable camera here. And, well, I guess it's mostly fully rotatable. You can spin it around. It doesn't go. It doesn't go up and down so much. I guess it depends on where Mario's standing. It's still sort of locked to the same axis of the uh, that the original was. But uh, man, it controls so well. I uh, did that nice backwards jump. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there it is. I'm not going to show too much gameplay because you know it's kind of weird about that. But that's pretty much it. I'm sorry again. I'm not able to provide the files. I know that's a kind of an important part of this. But you can find the files if you go looking for them. Uh, again, pre-compiled version. That's the thing you really need. You need the pre-compiled version. And if you get that, you're golden. And you can play the game and have a good time with it. It's fantastic. I love Mario 64. This is the best way to play it, in my opinion. Uh, whether you're playing it on Steam Deck or a PC being able to play the game in widescreen and 60 FPS and whatever resolution you want with a fully rotatable camera. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty hard to beat. It's pretty hard to beat. Uh, and there's some pretty cool graphic mods out there, texture mods. And if you want to link to any of that, the texture mod stuff, let me know. There's another channel out there that, that can show you how to do those things way better than I can. Uh, I just wanted to show you how to do it on the Steam Deck or how to install the base game on the Steam Deck. But, uh, yeah, that'll do it. Thank you for watching, folks. Please consider hitting the like button on your way out, and please consider subscribing. Uh, I do tutorials like this fairly often whenever something comes along. If there is uh, any suggestions that you have, or certain games that you, you're trying to get to work, or games, old games that you're trying to download to play on your system and you don't know how to do it, or you can't get it to work yourself, let me know. Maybe I have the game and maybe I can figure it out or help you figure it out and do a video on it. Who knows? Uh, I can't promise anything, but I will certainly try. And if you have any questions about this tutorial in particular, anything that I missed, please let me know in the comments aside from like download links. I can't really help you out there. But uh, any other specifics I, I might be able to help with. So again, leave comments below. I'm very good about answering questions. And uh, that'll do it for this time. I'll be back hopefully next week. It's Thanksgiving next week. I'll, I'm going to try and be back next week to do Metal Gear Solid 2 to cap off the playthrough of the uh, first three Metal Gear Solid games. I was going to say Master Collection, but I didn't do the Master Collection version of MGS1. But uh, yeah, that'll do it. Thanks for watching, guys.